and welcome back to my channel my name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here welcome and for those of you who are returning welcome back here on my channel I do planner and planner related videos DIY tutorials art and journal videos and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop and if that is of interest to you please consider subscribing to my channel and if you hit that little notification bell you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Commenting, liking, and sharing does help my channel grow and would be truly appreciated. All right, it is Nietzsche Saturday, where every Saturday I join Miranda and Jasmine here on YouTube, as well as a whole host of other ladies who work out of our skinny classic Happy Planner, Happy Nietzsche, Phobin Nietzsche, all the Nietzsche's um, on a Saturday. Clearly. <laughs> No, I do want to do some caveats. First of all, it is Thursday night. Um, it's a little after 9 p.m. after work. You guys know I shouldn't be doing filming um, after work during the weekday, but I ran out of time, and so here we are. Also, this first part might be a little chatty, so you may want to get yourself a beverage, put me on pause, get comfortable, or whatnot. Now, I do want to thank all of you who left me comments on last week's video, and I do want to say that, um, and I mentioned this in quite a few of the replies that I made to all of you amazing people, is in the video that the woman had left the comment, and I'm assuming it's a woman because the vast majority of my viewers are women based on my analytics, um, I had made a comment in the video that I always feel that I'm not professional enough, especially in the planner world. Um, and I know it's weird to think of, of it that way, but you can watch any of my planner friends, you can watch the bigger planner channels, and you'd probably get a sense of what I mean, where they've got it together, they've got a plan, um, the spread always comes out perfect for Instagram and Pinterest, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's interesting because I watch them and I have fun with them and I enjoy them and I, I never seem to be able to hit that mark and so in that video I did mention that I feel a lot of times that I'm not professional and I put that out there so when the viewer had made the comment that yeah she totally agreed that I was not professional uh, I, I did not have any problem with that part of the comment and even the part that I did have a little bit of a comment it was just really her choice of words um, she didn't like my goofiness <laughs> and honestly guys Goofy is my least favorite Disney character. I don't like, I mean, he's okay. I'm not gonna lie, I like all Disney characters, but I mean, don't call me Goofy. I don't feel like I'm Goofy. I feel like I laugh at myself a lot because it just, it always seems to just go a little off track. And I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if you're a planner like me that just turns on the camera? brings out some sticker books and just plays. I mean, that's, you're, you're gonna get that. So really I was having more of an issue with that particular word than what she had said. I mean, I mean, thank you for commenting and taking the time out to, to write anything down. Um, but I mean, it didn't hurt my feelings and it didn't get me down. I was just like, Ugh, seriously, goofy, goofy, <laughs> no. But thank you so much to all of you who, <laughs> left comments that was just amazing in that video I also had asked well, what you would call this and I got so many responses that I couldn't just pick one so my friend Miss Sarah had called it Blora Bloral floral so it's bullet journal floral that's what the floral means it's really hard to say uh sherry had said call this loose cannon <laughs> because of the the bullets there iris so cheeky iris <laughs> she called this professional florals because you know it's all about being professional around here <laughs> Karina had said, oh, well, how about floral explosion? Because you know me, I just like to vomit stickers on things. Miss Val had said, girl power or flower power. Um, Nicole had suggested Hawaiian bullet, again, because these look like those Mario bullets. And then Miss Mel had said, rocket flower blast. And I think all of those are amazing ideas. Um, and I also believe, oh, of course... 
didn't look, but in my work planner video, I had mentioned that I had had a ham sandwich on a bolillo roll, and I can't remember. I, I know who, I know someone said it. Duh. <laughs> but I didn't write down the name. I want to say it was Iris, but it actually could have been Mary. It could, be, it could have been anyone. So I put it on the screen when I'm doing the editing. But it's actually bolillo because when you have two L's together um, in the Spanish vernacular, then that turns the L sound into a Y sound. So it's not bolillo, it is bolillo. And you don't even know how many times I've said that in my head now because I just like how it sounds. So yeah, total professional. So let's get started on this one. <laughs> <laughs> bread. Oh, no, there's actually one other thing. It is Thursday. It is Thursday <laughs> right there. And you've noticed I've already did writing because I'm already projecting what's going to be coming down the line. Um, I do want to see if I can get some videos done tomorrow night. Uh, just because it helps me get a jump on the weekend. Uh, we do have some leftover Easter ham, and I'm all about the leftovers, and so I'm going to be making carbonara uh, for dinner tomorrow. And then by by the end of dinner tomorrow, or at the very latest, at the end of lunch on Saturday, we should have finished all of the leftovers from Easter. And the plan is to make a pork schnitzel dinner with red cabbage, gravy, and bratwurst. And that's going to carry us through Sunday and potentially lunches on Monday. That's what we like to do. Uh, we'll do big cooking Saturday. And that's why I like to get as much done as I can Friday so I don't have to um, worry too much about filming on Saturday or filming too many things on Saturday. And then we just basically reheat for the next few days until the leftovers are out. I will eat leftovers until they are done. Um, I can always incorporate that into another meal, make something else out of it. Uh, and it just it just makes it easy. And especially these in these times, um, the thought of wasting food really does not sit well with me. All right, so now in the video. So we're going to be doing the week of the 20th through the, uh, I, don't, I don't know, we'll figure that out. And last week, what I had used was the Womankind sticker book that my friend Kelly had sent to me, and then the Year to Shine sticker book that I had picked up from the new release. And we had done the functional out of this and the decorative out of this. And so this week we're going to reverse it. So decorative here, functional here, and we'll see what kind of spread that we come out to. Now guys, I have to tell you, I have a plan in my head. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't want you to get too excited, but I did do like the Ryan Seacrest kind of pause for effect, but yeah, no, I, I have a plan. I have a plan. And so this is going to be horrible or it's gonna be amazing. But there is a plan. I actually, I, I looked at the stickers. I have an idea, and we're we're gonna we're gonna do a thing. We're gonna we're gonna do a thing. All right. So we're gonna get our days of the week down. And this paper was gifted to me in a happy notes from my friend Val. It actually doesn't matter that there's lines on here. Um, it's actually the same paper as last week. And honestly, I just need the paper and. Uh, this is probably one of the most neutral middle sections that I have, so I thought, ah, we'll just we'll just keep with this thing. That's that's fine. Once the stuff goes down, I actually don't see it anymore. Okay, so we're going to use this. We're gonna do some surgery. Again, guys, the way this looks in my brain, it's amazing. I know. <laughs> I know, guys, I know. I mean, that's a total bocce if I've ever done that to myself, but that's okay. So we're going to put this down and we're going to go somewhat. No, let's go all the way to the top here. And we're going to put that down. And you're like, why did you cut its legs off? Guys, there's a plan. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this one. I'm going to close this because it's a bit unwieldy. And we're going to cut this off. Can you see where this is heading? I bet you can. 
Okay, we're not gonna waste, so we're just gonna put that on the wall there. And this is all kinds of crooked. And so in order to hide that it's all kinds of crooked, we're just gonna continue that. <laughs> we're just gonna continue with the crookedness. And so we'll line these two up and we'll lay that down. And that actually doesn't seem too crooked. So maybe my cutting was crooked, which is totally a possibility. And then we're gonna take this one back. We're going to attempt to be that girl and white out that line, more so because you'll be able to see it. And then we're gonna make a super long sticker. Look at that, guys, look at that. <laughs> If nothing else turns out right with this video, I cannot be more tickled by how that looks. OMGsers. It's so, it's so crooked. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. And then on this side here, yeah, it's the sticker book we want. Now it'd be great if we can find that turquoise dark navy combo in florals but I do know that there is like this color right there. Now we could go crazy, because honestly, when I said I had a plan, that's the sum total of it. I actually don't care about anything else. Well, I do, but I don't. Um, so I'm not sure if we should put Monday through Friday here and then Saturday, Sunday there, and then just go crazy with the decoration on this side. Well, that seems wasteful. Okay, I had to take a minute to think. And so we're going to put this here. And I actually don't need to separate my weekdays from my weekend. But I think I can work around this being somewhat functional and decorative than trying to figure out how to make this all decorative. Yeah, I know, I know guys. But I did see this sticker, which will bring some of that dark blue in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So let me, let me take that off. And this is going to be for Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I'm pleased. I am pleased. Okay, so now we're going to put the days down. And as you guys know, I did purchase... Oh, oh. What's going on with my stickers? Um, these from Lux Clever Crafts. Lux Clever Crafts on Etsy. And so I'm going to use some of these. And I think this week we'll actually use this original style because this is a style that I've purchased quite a bit of in the past. And then this one is their newest font style. So I'm going to put down the days of the week. I'm going to put down the corresponding dates of the week. And then when I'm done with all of that, then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I've got the days and the dates down. I know it's being fussy, but this one's actually a little lower than I wanted to. And so it's the 20th through the 26th, awesome. My friend Tamika from Pastries, Pumps, and Pie actually does a live session every Tuesday and Strangely enough, she calls it Tuesday Talks. <laughs> she celebrated her one year anniversary doing the live videos um, a few weeks ago, if not a few months ago. Uh, so I'm going to put this down as one of my decorative elements. And she actually had made these stickers herself and she had sent them to me in some Happy Meal. And so I'll put that right there. And now that we have all of the functional down, now we can do the decorative. So we're gonna do the decorative out of here. And you guys know I'm probably leaning towards the florals, cause that's, that's just my absolute fave. But I would like to put a quote there. 
Okay, so I think what we'll do is as much as possible, we're gonna try to stay to the teal and blue theme with some of the copper, copper foil, because that's what this sticker book has. So we'll put this down, but not all the way. Okay, and then here, I want to see if I can layer one of these. I actually like this one. And I had seen Val in one of her planner videos. She had done, I don't know if it was this one. It might have been the farmhouse or the big farmhouse or the new farmhouse, whatever it was. But she had done some layering that included a watercolory type of thing, a quote, and a flower. And I just thought that was so pretty. All right. So... And the reason why I wanted to use this color is because this is the dark blue and I didn't want to introduce that coral and the dark blue would not show up with that, or the quote wouldn't show up with the dark blue. I'm just gonna do it to the side there. <laughs> Again, the only plan I had was that long sticker, so it shows. <laughs> and what this says is, She's a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She sees possibility everywhere, and that was by Kate Spade. And so we're gonna line that so that Kate's name is straight, and that goes off to the side, which actually works quite well for me. And now, and now since we've got some things down, we're gonna go to the florals. We're gonna go to these here. Okay, we're gonna channel our inner vowel. And we're gonna try to do that layering effect. And I kinda wanna put it on this side. So have that pop out at the top like that. And like that. Oh, I think that's sweet. Okay, and then here, again, we don't want to introduce the pinky colors. So we'll do a big one. I don't want to put two flowers because an even number of flowers, unless it's a dozen, doesn't really work but I don't know that I'll be able to fit three flowers. Let's do this one here. Okay, so I put those two. And while I'm not super happy with how that looks behind it, I, th I think that's just being too fussy. And then I think we'll get around the three by putting the third one here, around the same height and fairly close. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I did add um, this, it was actually a cluster of three, but I just cut it apart. And I think what we're gonna do is try to put these blue spots. I don't think there's any of these in the copper, so I just wanna take up some of the space there. And Here. Let's see. We've got one here. I actually like that down here. But let's see what we can find for up here because I don't see any more of those spotty things. And there's one of these. So We'll put that at the top. Let me put this on the discs and I'll bring you guys right back. 
All right, guys. And again, just like we did a couple of weeks ago where we used the same sticker books, but we reversed how we use them, this here gives me a completely different vibe than this here, although we do have the, the Monday through Friday on one page, Saturday and Sunday the other. There's quite a bit of florals, and it isn't even that this is much more colorful than this one. Um, again, had you told me that these two spreads were made by the same two sticker books, I would have found that hard to believe. <laughs> Just just because of the vibe that it gives me so actually i really love doing that so probably going forward until i get bored with it i'm just going to pick two random sticker books from my stash that may not necessarily seem like they go together and then see what we can put together um during a Nietzsche Saturday and as I have for the last few ones I would love to know what you guys would call this <sighs> honestly I the only thing I can think of is teal floral but I mean that's just it's so boring because I, I think this is quite elegant again had these very same stickers been given in the hands of I can think of at least half a dozen of my planner friends here on YouTube and just those um, who don't have YouTube channels but I've seen their work on Instagram, you probably could have executed this a lot easier and just a lot better. But I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the teal and the blue. I do love florals and I love being able to see that. And even though with the whole pandemic and everything going on, my, my weeks have not changed much except for the fact that instead of um, commuting to work I'm working from home but I, I don't feel like I've gained any time I actually feel more tired even though my commute is literally about 30 seconds <laughs> anyway chit chatty um, enough again let me know what you think or what you would call this spread what do you guys think of me using the two different sticker books on alternating weeks? Does that interest you? It certainly interests me. Oh, and I did have quite a few questions. Bucky is always sitting right there. He's, I mean, he's he's literally in arm's uh, reach for me, and it's just because I, I tend to knock him down that I just have him sit on his perch, but he's always here. So if you guys are wondering, Bucky the Beaver, gifted to me by my friend Tamika, is always with me when I'm at work. He's with me when I'm doing my planner stuff, and uh, yeah, he watches me sleep. <laughs> But we tend to not talk about that. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe things are a little goofy around here. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.